Hi friends, uh, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to see how to quantify the protein concentration from an SDS page gel using ImageJ software. So I have uh, given a brief uh, introduction in the previous video. This is a follow on video on how to calculate or find out the protein concentration from the page gel. So I have here the ImageJ opened. So go to file and open the uh, gel image you want to analyze. Now image type convert that to 32 bit. So what you can see here is uh, 1, 2, 3 and 4, 5, 5 bands are there and the first one is the control band. Uh, the protein concentration of that particular band is known. So I will just select and uh, mark this. Okay, so this is our uh, control band. Go to analyze gels and then select it as first lane and move that to the next well and do the same process again till you mark all the wells. Now we have all the wells marked. Let's go to analyze gels and plot lines. So we have the uh, plot here and select the mark the ends to make the area under the curve values. So select that. And same, do the same for uh, rest of the peaks. and use this tool wonder tool to mark the area so we have the first one second one third one fourth one and the fifth one now we can copy all these into a excel sheet okay and we can mark this as a lane and area under the curve and you can also insert the name so this is the control uh, these are the different samples sample one sample two uh, sample three and sample four so we have four samples and one control and i know the concentration of the concentration uh, we are going to find out so the control concentration is 10 units so this is concentration units so so here uh, you know that uh, 343 of area under the curve corresponds to 10 units so now let's find out uh, what is the number of units if the area under the curve or the area is uh, uh, 2599 so just uh, cross multiply that Okay, find out that similarly for the others as well. So now we have the protein concentration values you can just a decimal part you can just remove okay so these are the number of units per well and assume that you have loaded uh, let's say volume loaded on the gel is uh, volume loaded is 2 microliter let's say in all the wells it can vary also based on that we can calculate 
so volume loaded is uh, 2 microliter and so the units per microliter will be will be this divided by 2 microliter so So these are the number of units per microliter of the sample. So you can uh, add in if there is any dilution or uh, any other uh, concentration step or dilution step, you can calculate accordingly and find out the expression levels of the protein in the, in the main uh, sample or the stock. Hope you are clear with this topic. If you like the video, please press the like button and share it with your friends. Thank you.